Morning guys. So we're just outside the Largs. Um, we have a flotilla today, which we've never done before. I think there's going to be 200 boats starting at Kip Marina, coming down around the Cumbres and then back up to Holy Loch. So we're not entirely sure what to expect. We'll probably just hang at the back um, and, and see what it's like. And then if the wind picks up, as, it, as it's meant to, we're going to head out towards Arran, get the sails up, do a bit of sailing, and if all goes well, we will drop anchor at Millport and uh, spend the night on anchor, which we've never done before, so that's quite exciting. I've gone round Cumbrae behind us, round that way, and we've just decided to go the other way so that we can catch them coming round the corner and try and get some more drone footage. So we kind of wanted to join in, but then we thought well, it'll be nice to catch them coming round and get some nice footage, and then we'll follow them up to Holy Loch. But it's just stunning, it's so warm, it's so lovely. And there's probably enough wind for a little bit of sail, but we're just on the motor at the moment. So we're going to get around the top of Cumbrae and sit and wait for them. Sails up. We're still just passing Cumbrae. The flotilla is just headed past us up to Holy Loch, and we're just getting the sails out and getting some sailing done. And then the plan is to go to Millport and get the anchor down for the night. What's the top tips for flying the drone off the boat? I think knowing your settings is probably the, the top tip. Knowing how to change your home point, taking the sensors off so you can come in close to the boat to land is probably the big one. Yeah.
right so we just had a mini disaster there because Cameron had his drone up which thankfully is a very old one and I was on the catching duty and I kind of missed it and it's gone into the sea it was amazing it just went it just disappeared it's almost like it flew into the sea so there was not even any chance of jumping in and grabbing it it just disappeared so so we're a drone down but we're gonna put we're gonna put my one back up try and get some nice footage of the lighthouse before we go over to Millport and I guess I'm more camera a, a wee drone never mind Coming into Millport now to put the anchor down. Looks beautiful. And interestingly, the first time we got the anchor out this year, it didn't work. Uh, it would go down but not up. And we put some Vaseline on the connectors and that fixed it. So it's working fine. But I think the salt just gets onto the connections, causes problems, so all good now. Well, the cold water feed to the basin just popped off and water started pouring everywhere, the fresh water pump kicked in. So, yeah, so that copper pipe just popped out of that blue hose and there was a rush of running water, which is not really a sound you want to see on a boat, is it? No. Are you sorted now? I think so. It's quite fresh, like. <laughs> Feels colder than last weekend anyway. We're actually on route back to Largs. We did put the anchor down at Millport and we had a couple hours of anchor. Had a bit of a swim. Wow, must have hit some weight there. But we've decided to go back to Largs because the wind picked up so it was pretty strong and just thought it would be a little bit uncomfortable with Largs being so close. It just made sense to go back get power and internet as well so I'm gonna get there and have some steak chips and a couple of beers that's the idea right Cameron steak and chips wow cool. brilliant what a great day excellent cheers
Cheers. Cheers. Hold on, hold on. And that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't make, like I wasn't taking any chances, so I really grabbed it. But. <laughs> Oh, I forgot we were filled. Look at the state of that. <laughs> you get the Jeez. same bit. Oh, there must be a better way. <laughs>